Thanks for clicking on the QR code and wanting to learn more about how much it costs to sell a house like my new listing at 923 Forest Bay Court that's listed for $950,000. If you're watching this video, you probably have a house that's worth something similar to that. Now what I wanted to do is I want to go over the exact numbers so you see the difference between my programs and other agents' programs as well as the other costs involved in selling your house. Because I know that's one of my major questions that I get all the time when I meet with my sellers. So we're going to use 923 Forest Bay Court and we're going to use a $950,000 sales price. The list price on that house is $949,900. Um, it's coming soon right now, but it will soon be on the market and I'm sure we will get a, uh, a few offers on it. So there's three components that make up the cost of selling your house. The first component we're going to say is the government and transfer fees. In Anne Arundel County, the county transfer tax is 1%. And generally speaking, the transfer taxes are split. It is negotiable, but most of the time they are split. So on a $950,000 house, half of the transfer taxes is $4,750. Your state transfer tax is a half a percent of the sales price. Again, that number split, $2,375. And there's recording fees or recordation fees of $7 per thousand split is $3,325. So your three government components adds up to $10,450. A title company is going to be used to settle on the house um, and change the ownership from you to the new buyer. And they usually charge between $500 and $1,000 for the, uh, to handle that transaction. Real estate commission. One thing to remember about real estate commission, it is negotiable. It's always negotiable, it's always been negotiable, and it is negotiable. So the typical agent right now is charging 5%. And how that's broken down, it's broken down into a 2.5% listing fee and a 2.5% buyer's agent fee. 5% of that $950,000 is $47,500. Most agents charge either transaction fee or flat fee between $400 and $1,000. We put $500 there. So it cost you $48,000 to sell your house. Now I have a house in Chapman Farm, um, not quite $950,000, but I know $48,000 to me is a lot of money and I'm sure you didn't get to buy one of these houses just taking um, the costs not serious. So $48,000 to sell your house using the typical real estate agent that charges 5%. Now, my program is a little bit different. So I call it friends and family program, um, where it's only a three and a half percent fee. And how that's broken down, it's broken down to a 1% listing fee to me, a two and a half percent to the buyer's agent. So three and a half percent of that 950 is $33,250. My transaction fee or flat fee is 695, somewhere right in the middle of, of the, the uh, estimate there. So 695. So using my program to sell your house, you would be charged $33,945. Now that is still a lot of money, but it's a lot less than the $48,000. So, savings between this number and this number, $14,055. That's quite a savings when you consider we are listing the house. These numbers are gonna be the same for almost any transaction that you do. The big difference is that number right there. Now, you ask, why will I do it for that? Um, the first thing is I've been doing it like this for years. Since I got my license in 2000, I've always had this 1% um, listing fee. And it is a full marketing program. So I'm sure you've seen my signs around Crofton and Gambrels. Um, I do sell a lot of houses because I do have a great program. Um, the full marketing program, virtual tours, 3D Matterports. You're gonna see from some of the other links on the, uh, on the website I created that you could walk the house through the 3D Matterport if you want to see what 923 Forest Bay Court goes, looks like, take a walk through it. Look at the professional pictures. You got a postcard, that's how I do a lot of my marketing. We're doing coming soon, we are currently in coming soon. We already have six showings lined up. I'm sure we're gonna get a lot more and we're gonna do an open house that first weekend um, if we don't get a contract before then. There's no loan commitment to my contracts. If you don't think I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, or you're not comfortable with it, or you change your mind and don't want to sell, you can get out at any time. We're going to do a single property website. If you looked at the pictures and the, uh, the sales price of the house, that was on the single property websites. 
I'm going to do a bunch of social media marketing. I'm going to syndicate to all the big websites. You're going to have me represent you throughout the whole process. I'm not going to hand you off to somebody else. Um, you will be dealing with me the whole time. And again, proven track record. I've been selling homes in this area for a long time. I live in the area. Um, I know a lot of people in the area. And that's why everything I do has to be above board and outlined right here. I wouldn't be doing business in Crofton and Gamble so long if I didn't do do things right. So if you have any questions about the cost of selling your house, reach out to me. If you have questions about what you need to do to get your house ready for sale, when's a good time to sell. I've been doing this for a long time and I'm here to help you. So please feel free to reach out. And again, cost of selling your house. These are all the same for just about everybody. It's the real estate commission that's going to be different. And at $14,000, sure goes a long way. I know I have uh, one of my son, his sons is left in college um, to graduate already. So that's going to go a long way if I was to sell my house to help pay for tuition. But you could use it for whatever you want. But it's a big chunk of change. Again, call me if you have any questions. And I appreciate you watching this video. Thanks.